been living here in this area for yeah, my whole life and um, I like it here. It's, it's a nice countryside as you can see and it's a very relaxing um, area. And the main reason why I stayed here, even after the split with Funkstern, was my family. I've got a kid here, I've got a wife and I'm enjoying life here. And I'm away every weekend anyway, so I like a quiet place and coming home. I'm very excited about DOS because it's a new start. It's a surprising album for the people, at least that's what the first reviews say. Um, I like it that it's surprising. I always want to do something new and um, it's good to provoke a bit. For me it was very clear to have a singer or a rapper on board for the new album. I um, wasn't so sure what direction really it would go, but um, for me it was very sure um, that, it's a, that it will be a um, rough and funky album. And at the beginning I, I thought about having hip-hop influence in it, but then I found Tabrick and he was so perfect. He was the funk voice I always searched for and which fitted so well and he had the same idea of the album like the roughness and dirtiness and funkiness and so it fitted perfectly. But of course it feels like my album as well because I I co-wrote it and I co-produced it and uh, I had I guess I have a lot of parts in it which which maybe people can hear through the differences from Funkstörung to what it is now. This is not my first release, um, it's my second album, but um, my first album was about 10 years ago and was only a collection of old tracks, so it does feel as the real first real solo album. Also it isn't because I co-produced this with Tabrick. We chose the name DOS um, because we liked that it's a short word, a short name, and um, DOS in Spanish means two, and I like the thing that's two, it's two people working on it, the second career, the second album. This yeah, it's an I, operating system as well, so yeah. I guess we're working M like, like an, <laughs> yeah, like we're working like an operating system maybe together. Soda. It's one of my favorite tracks. I like that it has a lot of a lot of acoustics in it and even trombone and stuff. And I think it's one of the most accessible tracks on the album. So that's why K7 wanted to have it as single. But I think it's not your favorite no, track. No, it was my favorite in, in the first place actually. But uh, that's it's okay. I think it's a good song. Oh, yeah, all good songs. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> Um, I met Tabrick through a mutual friend in Hamburg um, and at the beginning we were, I was sending him a lot of beats and um, song ideas and he was adding some vocals but then he began to remix my beats as well and even sent me his own beats and stuff and so I began remixing his beats, his vocals and stuff so it was all a um, file sharing thing like or idea sharing thing he sent me ideas I sent him back 
some other ideas. Uh, I, re I remixed his ideas, he remixed my ideas. So it was a back and forth all the time. And um, yeah, it was a good way of working. I think it's a modern, very modern way of working together. We are going to be on tour, um, probably Europe and America, maybe Japan as well, hopefully. <laughs> and the tour is going to look like, we thought the album's basic, the album's rough, so it's the best way to present it in a basic way. And that's only me on the laptop, on the MPC, on the drum computer and whatever, and tapping on the mic and effects and, and stuff. So there's a plan, but nothing is confirmed yet. We'll see. I think it will be autumn or end of this year that we're going to be on tour. <laughs> Whoa!